back in 2016, when we opened the news, there is always the constant repetitions of the word attack, or terror, or terrorist, or bombing. Be it in the newspaper, in the magazine, daily updates on their gadgets, on the television, anywhere. These four words will always hot up your newsfeed. Every day was like another announcement of another terror attack in another part of the world. And there had been many of them. The Nice attack. The Munich attack. The attack that happened in Orlando. The attack that currently happened in Aleppo. The attack that also happened here in Jakarta. And these occurred in just a span of months. Terrorism is not a new trending topic in the world. It has been present in the past, just like the act of Adolf Hitler from Germany, Pol Pot from Cambodia, and many, many more. So yes, terrorism is ancient. These terror activities have ruined a country's wealth for any reasons. They have ruined children's lives. They have ruined the dreams of tomorrow. They have made this world a very uncomfortable place. Growing up in an educated world, I was taught to be grateful for each other, to love because of God, to appreciate one another, to be humble, to be faithful, and to always stay positive. I am someone who is against harming God's creations, his people, and his loved ones. We're living long enough in this world, I'm sure that all religion promote harmony that teaches all of us to stay in peace. I'm sure that every religion goes by the same aim, which is to make us people of good quality. I'm also sure that no particular religion has ever been told to start harming or to start killing each other irrelevantly. I mean, we just need some time to see the real truth. It is actually clearly noted that, no, terrorism is not a direction of God. It is not what any holy book would say. It is a belief that is wrong should it ever be right. Whoever drives and support these terror groups are just true political intentions to break and to mess with innocent souls. We just need some time to find the truth. The society today is filled with boundaries, with people covering their eyes from what is right, with people judging one another because of what they believe in, with people agreeing to false rumors, with people having different mindsets. And these are all just because of small little things. We are people of tomorrow, and we are what the world depends on. With this narrow mindset, we are not going to be able to move forward. We are not moving anywhere. But honestly, deep inside my heart, I actually believe that this world, this world we're living in right now, we are capable to truly open our minds and stand together as one. I believe that by working together as a society, where we express our common humanity, we are able to reduce the standardized hatred of racism that is here amongst us. We are able to break the walls of segregation. As humankind, we are taught to be sincere to what we choose, and our belief has become one of the big choices in our life. It has ingrained into an identity that we must stick on genuinely. I'm sure that our beliefs are the truest one, the best ones for us. Also, as citizens of the country we are from, it is our obligation to make it a pleasant and permanent home. We are to love the nation, to protect it from any catastrophe and not ruining it any further. 
So, let's keep this in mind that we, in fact, should be proud of our belief, our surrounding, and our identity. We must build an armor of faith with shields of pride and bravery. My name is Batari Alameda. I'm proud of my identity, and you should be too. I'm a Muslim, and I'm an Indonesian. Now, it is our duty to build an open-minded community and surround ourselves with people of diversity who are proud of their identity. So terrorism will never affect us. Terrorism is and has been a global epidemic, and hence, it shouldn't be based on any nation, race, or belief, because terrorism has no nationality or religion. Thank you.